Hello everyone. Let us see what is history panel, history brush and history snapshot in Photoshop. So let us start. So here is the image of a girl and uh, here is the history panel and in case the history panel is not already open we can always go to window menu and uh, select the history panel right and uh, right now as we can see here the history pa panel is completely blank it means it has no actions we have not performed any action and as we keep performing actions each action is recorded in this history panel it is an alternative to command z or control z with which we generally go back by few steps so if you go want to go back to a previous step or a previous state uh, we generally use the undo command but instead we can also use the history panel to go back to a specific uh, step or a specific uh, point right now let us see how to use this history panel to go back to a previous state so let me perform some actions on this image so let us use some filters on this image let me go to filter and here we have stylize and here we have extrude and uh, in extrude uh, here we have the size input field we will put a value of 10 in this size input field and we will just simply click ok so we can see here and we have added this action to our history panel and we will add uh, one more action so we will also go to filter and we will select distort and here we have an option uh, 12 we will use this 12 filter on this image so we can see here right so now if we observe the history panel we have two actions and the good thing about history panel is we can select any one of the actions if you want to go back so simply we will select this extrude one and if you want to go back even further we have to select the first initial state where there are no filters applied on this image so simply select the topmost action that is the default action that is the initial action where we have not applied any filter so the normal procedure is we use command z or control z to go back by a few steps but by using history panel we don't have to do that we can simply select any one of the action we can either select the latest action which is a twill filter or we can select the the oldest action or the initial state of the image where there are no filters applied and uh, we can apply some more filters on this image simply go to filter blur and this time we will apply gradient blur so see here so now our history panel is showing four different states the initial state where the image is perfectly clear and no filter is applied and then the extrude state where we have applied the extrude filter and then the twill filter and then the radial blur filter and we can select any one of the states here or we can select the initial state where no filter is applied and then we can use a history brush to paint the actions so let us see how we can use the history brush to paint the actions so now let us see how to use history brush so here is an image of a bird let us paint some colors on this bird right now the bird has a blue color and some shades of orange color on its body. 
So we will go back to the layer, the layers panel. We will select the normal brush and we will select a soft or rounded brush. And what we'll do is here there is uh, an option mode and from mode we will select a blending mode. Uh, we'll select a color blending mode and I'm selecting the blending mode for the brush. Right. And uh, now we will paint green color. So we will make this bird greenish in color. So something like this. So we can take our own time and uh, paint carefully. We can paint green color carefully. Right. So sometimes uh, we might uh, go outside uh, the boundaries of this bird, but it's okay. Uh, we can uh, clear those colors. We can simply use the white color and then get rid of the color that has gone outside the bird. Right. And now what we can uh, observe is, so here we can see, we can see our history panel. Right. And uh, here we can simply paint the initial state of the bird or the original color of the bird. So how we can just set the source as the original state. Here the topmost state uh, of this bird is it is having its original color. So we will paint the original color by using history brush. So simply we will select the history brush and we will bring back the original color just by painting and by painting with history brush not with the normal brush so we can always use the keyboard shortcut y to activate the history brush so see here and if we want to just get rid of the green color we can simply paint uh, with the history brush and get rid of the entire green color or we can keep some of the green color and uh, just uh, make it look like some uh, greenish and bluish bird something like this so we can see here right and uh, we can simply just remove the green entirely Right. See, we brought back the original bird. But one thing uh, we can do here is, see, if you once again want to uh, bring back the greenish bird, we can always bring back the greenish bird. So we need to check the history panel here. So we, if we observe the history panel, here we can see. And uh, here we have this greenish bird. And if we want to... Uh, remember this so what we can do is and we can actually create a snapshot of this green color so how we can do that so just we need to select this uh, green state the state where the bird is green the point where the bird is green and uh, at the bottom of the history panel we have we can find this history snapshot we can create a new snapshot just click on the create new snapshot and we can just give it a name green bird right and uh, now uh, what we can do is we can paint some more colors on the bird and we can create some colorful bird here so let's do it and what we'll do is we'll come back to our latest action uh, the latest action is uh, that the latest action is that we have completely removed all the colors from the bird 
So let's paint a different color on this bird. Let us select an orange color and uh, let's keep the blending mode as color and let's start painting and make sure that you select normal brush normal brush and not the history brush and also here the flow amount has to be 100 flow and opacity has to be 100 so here we are painting some uh, light orange color over this bird we can uh, be careful near the eyes we don't want to paint over the eyes and also over the beak and in case we think that uh, we have uh, painted a little bit outside the border of the bird we will uh, just select white as the foreground color and just remove the unwanted uh, color that has gone outside the bird and the color uh, blending mode has no effect on pure black and pure white colors it only has impact on the colors or the hue right so we have painted an orange color and uh, now I will create a snapshot of this so we will just click on the snapshot icon at the bottom of the history panel and uh, we will just rename the snapshot as orange bird right and we will paint one more color so we will select a pure red color and uh, we will check whether the blending mode is color or not and we'll start painting red color over this bird so we can create a colorful bird now So we can paint many more colors so we will paint uh, two more colors so now I have painted red over this bird and in case there is some color that has spilled uh, outside this bird we can get rid of it by painting with pure white color right and now we'll create one more snapshot so just click on this snapshot icon and we will just rename it red bird right and uh, then we will select a blue color and we will select the latest state in the history panel and we'll make sure that the color blending mode is active and we'll start painting blue color over this bird So I have uh, painted a little bit outside. So we'll get rid of the paint. Right, so we will make the white color active and we'll get rid of that, that extra blue spill outside this bird and we will uh, just completely paint blue over this pen right so now we have this uh, blue bird and uh, 
we will now take one more snapshot just here we will click on this snapshot icon and we will rename the snapshot as bluebird right and one last color we are going to paint so that is pink color we'll select the pink color we'll select the latest action we'll make sure that the color blending mode is active and we will start painting the pink color so you don't have to paint uh, the pink completely we can uh, uh, paint pink on some important uh, parts of this bird and we can ignore the rest so we don't have to paint on the tail it's enough if we paint the pink on the body right so again we have this pink spill outside this uh, bird will uh, make white as a foreground color and will get rid of the unwanted pink that is outside the bird right so now we will take this final snapshot so just click on this snapshot and we will rename the snapshot pink bird right so now we have five different colors green orange red blue pink and along with these colors we also have the original or the initial color of the bird so this is the original color of the bird so now we have the snapshot and also the initial state so we can select any one of the snapshot as the source and we can paint that particular color now so let us start with this orange color bird so now i have just clicked on the left side of this orange bird so we can see a brush icon here so it indicates that we have selected this uh, orange bird as the source so now what we'll do is uh, we will just come back to the latest action and uh, keep the orange bird as the source and uh, now instead of normal brush we will select the history brush and uh, we can paint orange now see i am painting orange on some parts of this bird i am doing it with history brush right so now what we'll do is we will paint one more color we will select blue as the source and then we will again use the history brush and we will paint blue on some parts something like this and then we will select the green bird as the source and again we will use the history brush to paint green so we are creating a colorful bird now right and now we will use the red as the source the red bird as the source and we will paint red so we have a colorful bird here and uh, we can also do one more thing we can also make our original bird as the source the origi original color of the bird as the source by just selecting our initial state in the history panel and uh, select the history brush and we can bring back the original color so in case we want to paint original color in some places we can also do this we can create some nice transition here so just we can observe here so we can see so we have used the history brush and the history snapshot to create a colorful bird 
So here I have an image of a bike rider. So we can also use history panel along with filters and create some nice uh, blend between different filters. So let's see how we can do that. So right now, uh, this uh, image is not having any actions. It's only a one uh, uh, history is there for this image and we'll create uh, some more uh, actions in this history panel. So first I will apply a filter. So just go to the filter menu and here we have the blur filter and uh, we will select radial blur and we'll keep the amount to maximum and we will just click OK. So here we can see. We will apply uh, the same uh, radial blur filter two times or three times. So we'll just continuously apply the filter, right? So now we can see here. So the original state of this image is like this. So there are no filters on this, and the latest state or the current state of the image is with a complete radial blur. So what we'll do is we will select the history brush, and we will just paint at the middle of this image so we can see here so we can create some nice interesting uh, filter effects or we can say cinematic effects so something like this so we are getting back the original image because this currently the source is the original image we can see the symbol here the brush symbol here right so now what we can do is we can actually combine all these blur effects into a single action so what we can do is at the bottom of this uh, history panel we can find an icon here so what this icon is saying is create a new document from the current state it's going to combine all the effects and it's going to create a new document a new document from the current state so just we'll click on this and now all the effects got combined all the blur effects got combined and we can only see one current state here and it is saying duplicate state right so now we'll add one more filter over this image so we will now add the extrude filter over this image. So simply go to filter, stylize and here we have the extrude filter. And we will put the size as H and we will simply click OK. So we have applied extrude filter over this image and we will repeat the same filter two times or three times or even more so simply go to filter and here we have the we have applied the extrude filter and we can also use the keyboard shortcut alt control f or option command f in mac so just we will repeat the filter and we will apply the same filter one more time so we can see here and now we will use the history brush and uh, make sure that the source is the duplicate state so here we can see the duplicate state uh, this state is uh, uh, the state where we have combined all the previous effects into one right and now we will use the history brush and just paint at the middle of the image so we can see here so we can create some nice interesting uh, effects with these options we can create a blend between different filters and create some nice interesting cinematic effects so something like this and uh, one more interesting thing is we can also reduce the flow amount here and uh, we can paint we can paint over this extrude filter so we can get some nicer uh, transition
so this is the one interesting thing that we can do with the history brush history panel and also the history snapshot so i hope you enjoyed the tutorial please do like subscribe share and if you have anything to say do comment see you again